Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is all about these amber earrings that I just purchased not too long ago. A couple of months ago, my husband and I celebrated our 40th wedding anniversary by going on a cruise, and one of the ports that we went to was to the Dominican Republic, Porta Plata, and Dominican Republic is actually known for a, a couple of stones. One of them is amber, and the other one is Larimar, which Larimar, I'll have to say, is my favorite stone. But amber is really pretty cool, too. And I wanted to find some jewelry that had both amber and Larimar in them. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I was not successful in that. And to be honest with you, the Larimar I found was extremely expensive and it was really not very good quality jewelry. It was either like really, really high end jewelry or it was just really very, very low end jewelry. There wasn't anything that was in between, which would have been more in my price range and more what I wanted. Anyway, I also had a hard time finding things with amber. I was able to find these earrings. I did buy um, three pair of earrings. They were all different. I bought a pair for, for me, uh, my sister, uh, Tammy Pally of Peace Crest, Craft Dolls. She's, she's got a pair. And then my mom. Uh, my other sister, she's got a lot of allergies and doesn't really wear a whole lot of jewelry. So she didn't get a pair. <laughs> but anyway, these are my earrings, but and I really like them, but I want to change them up a little bit because, like I said, I wanted some Larimar in there. So let me just show you these a little bit. The ear wire here was definitely handmade. I have tried to wear them, but it's a very soft wire, and uh, it's very hard for me to maneuver in my ear. Might have a lot to do with my hand issues, but it's, it's just very, very soft. So I want to put new ear wires on these, and then I want to add a Larimar stone. So I have a couple of different Larimar stones that I could use. I have these that are more of a tumbled nugget. They are really, really pretty. I got these off of BB Craft, and um, they were quite affordable. And I really like them. But to be honest with you, this is really not the look that I am looking for. Um, so what I could do is find a couple of these nuggets that are close in size. And I can just do some wire wrapping and put them up on the top and just have one bead, one little bead. But like I said, that's really not what I envisioned. Now, I have these nuggets, or chips, Larimar chips. This is more what I have envisioned. I figured I could take several of these and kind of stack them on top of each other, maybe do three, and put them here. And uh, that's actually what I'm going to do today. So let me put these away. It's interesting to see the difference in the colors. These are more of a blue. This is kind of more of a seafoam green. But they're the same stone. These are tumbled. These are not. So I've taken them off the ear wire, but I think I'm going to need to take these little things off, which I just wanted to show you. It's just a little figure eight. And they do make a really interesting um, element. And I may use that idea sometime in another pair of earrings. But right now, I do want to take these off. I think we're fixing to get a storm. I hear some rumbling in the background. Honestly, I'm kind of in the middle, in the mood for a storm. All right, I've got those taken off. Now I need to get some wire. And I need some gold tone wire. Let's see. Um, I have some like really shiny, shiny stuff. I don't want to use that. I want something that's not so shiny. 
Well, let me look around some more. All right, I had to do a little bit of finagling. Um, here are the ear wires I'm going to use, by the way. Just your regular ear wires. You can get it Hobby Lobby or Michaels or wherever. And as I'm inspecting these chips, some of the chips, like this one right here, the hole is really close to the edge, so <laughs> there's really no hole in it. It falls off. So be careful that you don't use one of those. And like this one here, the hole's really close to the edge. It's not open yet. I don't want to use that one because I think eventually, especially with the wire, it may break loose and I'll lose that chip. Um, so let me show you what I already did one. I want to get some chips that are not so big. See, we've got this big one here. I've got to kind of match up the basic size there, and I've got three of them. I want to do three. So, and I tried to use, uh, let's see, what size was this? I think this was 24, no, 24, 26 gauge. Too thin, don't use that. <laughs> it wasn't working right. This is 20 gauge, and I wanted to do some wrapping. It's too thick for that, so. I just made some simple loops. All right, so as I dig in here, uh, that one might work. This one might work. Let's see. Let's do this one. And then maybe the thinner one in the middle. And let's check this one out. And there, that's about the right size. Okay, let me move all these away. All right, so I got my pieces on there. Just want to make a small loop. I can adjust that loop once I get everything put together. And then I want to make a small loop over here. And let's see, how do I want these to hang? I think I want the bigger one at the bottom there. Open that up and hang this on there. Make sure I close everything tight. I don't want to lose my my amber. I would be very sad. I think it's tight. I want to open this guy up. Hang my ear wire. And there we go. And close that up. Make sure it's closed up. Don't want to lose my earring. There. I've got her little earrings. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but these Laramore chips I actually got in Puerto Rico several years ago on another cruise which this particular cruise that we went on <laughs> that I got these earrings, we did go to Puerto Rico. I think we went to Puerto Rico the day before we went to the Dominican Republic. So, you know, they come from the Caribbean. Anyway, I love the way these turned out. They're exactly how I envisioned. So let me ask y'all a question. Do you ever buy jewelry and then come home and revamp it? I do it quite often, especially if there's something I'm looking for, something in particular I'm looking for, like this, and I couldn't find it, but I could find most of the elements in it, and I knew that I could come home and put the rest of the elements that were missing. I do like to do that. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section below, and thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now.
Bye-bye.